Hey bookies, so today we are going to go over some romance recommendations, so let's get started. As a disclaimer for this video, um, the HarperCollins strike is still ongoing, so please support the strike workers. They are literally asking for breadcrumbs, and HCP is not doing anything. Um, so at the time of the filming, the strike is going on. I don't know when it when this gets published, if it still will be going on. Um, but regardless, I'm just going to treat it as it would be still ongoing. That being said, um, I am going to mention some books in here that are HarperCollins books, but I am not going to specifically talk about them. Um, there's going to be a jump cut and everything to the next book, and they're going to be listed down below. Um, I'm mentioning it so that way you can go and support the author. Like the strike workers have said, please go support the author, but I'm not going to be talking about the books whatsoever. So please remember, support the authors, um, buy the books, but don't do your reviews, hold your reviews and everything like that. With that being said, let's get into some romance recs. The first two that I'm going to mention that I know off the top of my head that are HCP books um, is A Tale of Two Princesses and The Weird, The Wrong Kind of Weird. Those I read recently and I thought that they were pretty good romance recs. Um, another one that I really enjoyed recently was Friday I'm in Love by Cameron Garrett. This one is so cute. Okay, so, um, the book is uh, told from the viewpoint of our main character who is in the closet. They, um, are a lesbian and they are wanting to come out to their parents. Um, and they're kind of wanting to do this because their mother, when they were young, they kind of been living in poverty. Their mother, when they were young... I changed my shirt because I had to go do something real quick and the other one got dirty. Anyways, um, so she's wanting to um, have this party. She was promised when she was little that she could have a sweet 16. Well, that's kind of come and gone and money is tight right now. There's a lot of things that are happening, um, but she still wants to have a party. So she wants to have a coming out party. Um, to celebrate. So the whole book is told about how like she's getting the money and everything um, in the excitement of that, um, meeting someone and everything like that, um, and the heartbreak through it all. And it's at, at its core it's just a contemporary but it has a lot of romance aspects. I wanted to mention it for this one because it's just so adorable. Um, I also want to talk about Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute which is by Talia Hibbert. Um, who is one of the Queen's Romance books. Um, this one I didn't like as much, but I thought it was still sweet. This one features our main character, um, who is really competitive, and it's like kind of like a rivals to lovers kind of thing. Um, both characters are competitive, um, and they are wanting, um, are like one of them is um, wanting the scholarship. She wants to go to col college and everything on this scholarship. Uh, kind of needs it. The other one is just competing because he realizes that, like, he really likes um, our other main character um, and everything. So it's basically about them falling in love at this um, kind of, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's this scholarship opportunity where you have to do a wilderness program. A little weird, but it's cute. So trust me on that. Another one that I thought was absolutely adorable is Take a Bow, Noah Mitchell by Tobias Madden in this one. Um, it's, it's like, it's really like a romance built for gamers. If you're a gamer, you will love this. Um, our main character doesn't have like any IRL friends. Something happened um, that caused him to lose all of his friends. So he mainly games and he's formed this really close relationship um, with this other gamer and they do like this kind of like um, League of Legends, or, well not League of Legends, uh, like World of Warcraft style uh, video game together and um, you know our main character has developed really really close feelings um, fell, fall in love basically for this other for this gamer that he doesn't know because 
they have strict rules since they're teens. Um, anyways, when they deduce that maybe their crush from the computer world is um, really close by in the IRL world um, and is possibly doing theater, um, like, a mu like a musical that their mother is doing, our main character jumps at the chance to join this musical to try to get close and figure out which one is their IRL crush. It is adorable. It is cute. Um, and the ending is not exactly what you would think, but it's really good. A series that I fell in love with last year um, was Love from A to Z and then the sequel Love from Mecca to Medina, both by S.K. Ali. Um, the first one focuses on two Muslim teens um, who meet in Quaidar, one of them from America. Um, who is suspended from school after she stands up to a racist teacher, and the other one who um, just discovered that they have multiple sclerosis and is dealing with the alpha, uh, with the fallout from that. Um, they meet and they fall in love, and it talks a lot about Islamic culture and beliefs and stuff like that. Um, and then Love for Mecca Medina is their continuing love story, and it's just so much, so insightful and everything. It's very well done, and I absolutely loved it. We also have Twice Upon a Quinceanera um, by Yamel Saeed Mendez, which I thought was absolutely amazing. It's not um, a typical love story. In the beginning, our main character actually breaks up with their boyfriend um, because they are a piece of crap, <laughs> just to be completely honest. And they want to throw themselves, because they didn't have um, a quinceanera, they want to throw yeah. themselves a, a 30th birthday party in the style of a quinceanera. Um... And yeah, it's about her, our main character, um, kind of like standing up to her family and asserting herself, learning how to grow into her own shoes and then slowly falling in love with someone else. Another one from last year, well, that was unexpected, <laughs> by Jesse Q. Sutanto. Um, this one is really cool and it talks a lot about um, sex and stuff like that, sex positive. So if you're looking for something that is YA sex positive, this is going to be the book for you. But in it, um, her, it's a dual POV. One of our main characters is an American who got caught by her mom almost having sex with her boyfriend. The other POV is um, our male main character who um, his family lives in Indonesia. And yeah. he was caught with his pants down um, doing something very pleasurable for himself if you know if you get my drift um and the parents of both of them they both freak out and they're like we're gonna find you a respectable uh date so they set them up on this dating website and the parents set up dates with each other's kid <laughs> It's, so it's kind of like a blind date-esque, which um, that family sets up, which is my weird brand of trope that I like. Um, so they meet, and it's about them kind of having to fake date because our male MC is part of this rich family that is developing this app, and they want it to go well and be, um, um, you know, accepted and everything. They don't need a scandal, so she kind of has to play along with it. Um, such good tropes, such a good book in general. I highly recommend it. And then the last book that I'm going to end on is A Little Bit Country by Brian D. Kennedy. Um, then this one, it was such a sweet book. Um, told in dual POV. Again, one of them is an aspiring country singer who gets a job at this Dolly Land or this Dollywood esque um, amusement park for this um, really famous singer. The other POV is a struggling. Um, teen whose family is on the brink of homelessness, who is trying to help make ends meet, who gets a job at the Dollywood-esque land, even though he's not really supposed to because his family has, his family has a beef with the singer. Anyways, they meet, it's cute, and there's a little bit of mystery involved as to why the family has beef. Um, really quick read as well so if you're looking for something quick i would recommend that one but yeah that is romance books that i'm going to recommend from that i've that i've read so far um yeah i recommend them all so thank y'all for watching i'll see y'all later bye